G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zawoodle and welcome back to 7 days to get demonetized when we're still playing Infection. It's about to be early morning so I might just quickly pop me noggin up and see what's going on in the town that I live in. There is the sunshine looking nice and warm and wonderful. Today is going to be a big day of adventure. I do have some regrets. I turned up how much infection is added each time a zombie hits me. And now it's like I get hit three times and I'm getting the stamina debuff almost immediately. So I need to be right on top of my stamina and my um my infection stuff all the time. Getting into any sort of a pickle will leave me floundering in a jar. So that's really bloody concerning. I'm going to try and put all those worries to the back of my mind. Not as particularly deep in the first place. And go down to this other town down here and try and find that other trader. I've got a trader here, Jenny Girls is down the road, got another trader out in the western town, but it, well, it's to the east, but it's the old western town. We're all flipped around because it is Australia after all, upside down and back to front. But if I head down to the south down here, find out where the other trader is, hopefully I can find that acid. I need one more acid to get my chem station, if I get my chem station, I get antibiotics. Oh! Ah! Uh, ha <laughs> ha! You're feral too. All right, I guess they figured out where I was. There's a couple of them. Man, opening that door and seeing a zombie just having a nap on the other side gave me the fizz in all of the worst ways, but I think we're okay for now. I c oh, yeah, get a champion. I can't even really get in there to sort you lot out. So I can quickly go like that. Just murderize you. Whack on one of you so I can get up and in. Or I'll just leave up. I might just leave up, you know? Hey, Josh, remember that time where the zombies are super dangerous and you probably shouldn't pick fights with a bloody blunt nub of a knife if you can avoid it? Maybe you should just <laughs> slow your roll a little bit there and not try and get yourself infected again immediately. We can't start the day as bad as the other day we started just the other day. Everything can't go wrong straight away. Let's try and be okay for a little bit. There's nothing especially exciting in the Vendo. That's all fine. I'll just leave that there. I do have a fair bit of Cashola, actually. I've got, what, five and a half grand? It's, uh, that's not too shabby. I've been... I've been really wearing through the inner thighs of all of my underwear because I've been too poor to buy any new ones for quite a while now. But now I've got a, ooh. Now I've got a little bit of dosh. That's very tempting. A new different cracker book. One of the compo pack POIs. So who knows what's waiting for me in there. But I don't want to go spending my money all frivolously like. I need bow parts. I need acid. And I need the money to get those things. Anything in you? Sugar Butts, Jailbreakers, uh, I do have a fair couple of Sugar Butts at the moment. And nothing really exciting in them. Alright, that's all fine. That's all good. Jen, I'm not going to go see you right now. You're still having a lovely morning in bed. Mustache man has come back by the sounds of things. I'm not welcome there just yet. I'm going to wait till later. The weather has turned somewhat, but that's fine. Look, I've got four eyes and I'm still blind as a bat, so keeping an eye out for omens just isn't really something that I ever really do. I'm going to keep on my way on the outskirts of town and try and find that trader loop that, uh, like the highway bit of road. Uh, give you a bit of a wide berth there, champion. That little loop of road that tells you where the trader is. That's what I'm really looking for. Oh, I need a motorcycle. I need something that burns dinosaurs for power because using the old spaghetti legs is leaving me a little bit undercooked. Jump off you. Quick, have a little squeeze at the mailbox. Nothing in that one. That's fine. That's fine. I'm going to leave you be there, superstar. I'm going to carry on my merry way. There's lots of places to explore and the inside of your noggin isn't one of them. That over there, that silhouette behind the church looks like it might be Trader Bob. He's got like that tower in the corner. Kind of similar to what Jen has, but a little bit different. So chuck a cheeky Louie and go. Yeah, it is. It is a trader potato. And I've made it here before he's even opened up. That's gone exceptionally well, if I don't say so myself. You, real quick, just going to mark you up like this, tradey boy. Now, Bob. Bob is kind of like... Mm, I don't even remember. Like, the traders have specializations, but it's not so drastic that I've actually remembered it. They kind of always have everything. Like, all of them have a nice little smattering of different goods. I know that, like, I think Wrecked is supposed to be the weapons guy, and then Bob... Maybe it's the other way around. Maybe Bob's weapons guy, and Wrecked is, like, the, the one-stop shop, the supermarket. 
I'm not sure. I'm not sure. We'll find out in a second, but if he's got some acid in him or oh, something to do with the motorcycle, I'm ready to throw all of my cash at him. Just spent all the time in waiting for trade of the open, harvesting up cactuses and whatnot, because yucca juice is the juice of life. Give me you, you big prickly bitch. Thank you very much. You can prickle me insides and make me feel all nice and satiated for a little while. Down to 2% infection. Two. Ooh. G'day, dingo. How are ya? Can I just go like this and boop the schnoots? Oh, a little bit high. This primitive bow actually has a lot of projectile speed. So, like, just no over the top. No hold over at all. Aim right at the eye socket and you'll hit him square. Wow. Okay. I thought there was a lot more drop to it, but apparently not. Take you. Thank you very much. Bob, look, I'm getting up to senseless murder out here. Can you hurry up and open? I'll quickly check his subscriptions. See if you subscribe to Zubrudel. He bloody better be. Ooh, I'm not sure if that means yes or no. I mean, it's empty. Before I come in and see you, Bob, just got to quickly check your vendo. Mm, yeah, okay. I turn them down before, but I'll take these ones just in case Bob does have something exceptionally good. Cheeky repair kit. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, hot stuff is stuck outside the boundary. That's fine. I'm not going to go out there and say good day to him. Uh, which one had the forge or cement mixer, maybe? No, that's on the other side. I'm getting you all confuddled. That's all good. No cars to raid. I'm really slow. I feel like I'm really bloody slow. I need to put some points in a, in a parkour and uh, stat, not stamina, um, cardio and stuff. Get myself some extra speedy boys going. Because at the moment, I'm just on a bit of a trundle. Check the cement mixer. Please give me some concrete. You did not. You gave me sand. I live in a desert with a horse with no name. Also a bicycle as well, so I don't need the sand. I can get some more of that later if I ever need. Are you good? Open you. Close you. Let you come inside so no one else is going to follow. One at a time, like an actually effective bouncer. All right. Bob, after defending your compound very um, rudimentarily. That's not a word. What have you actually got for me? Please sell me good governments. Magazine extender mod, weapon flashlight. Mods are good, but not what I'm after. Advanced bellows, motorcycle chassis for nine grand. If I pop the sugar butts, that's still eight grand. I need an engine, concrete, ski goggles. Already got them, but thank you. Mm, no acid. No acid wasn't too... <gasps> Holy shit. I am running agility. I'm not running pistols. And you got a crossbow as well. Now, crossbows scrap into iron, not bow parts. I'm pretty sure. I'm 99.99% sure. I'm pretty sure I've tested before that iron crossbows scrap into iron, not, not bow parts. People were screaming at me the other day because I was like, I need bow parts. And then sold or scrap, uh, just sold the iron crossbow. But it only gives me iron. It doesn't give me bow parts. But you are very tempting. You are exceptionally tempting. And so is that one. I might, if I pop the sugar butts, I can buy both of those and get a pretty good discount. I'm going to pay for itself at the very least. I'd be silly to turn down that. That's a definite. You know what? I'm going to gamble on it. Because look, the iron crossbow in here needs 12 bow parts. I think I had eight back at home. Compy crossbow needs 15. So bow parts are everything. So I'll eat you. Mm, do I gamble? Do I gamble on it? Look, first and foremost, I'll take you. You're an absolute no-brainer. I'll take you. What do you reckon? It's a tier two, so it's relatively cheap. I'm so sure it gives me iron though, but people were very adamant in the comments that I did the wrong thing, which means I'm either gonna make myself a pelican, although in fairness, I had to sell it anyway because I needed money to buy antibiotics, which is much more important than everything else. I don't have the money, actually. I don't have the money for it. Okay, I bought the more important things. That's fine. You restock in a couple of days. I'll so keep that in mind. What about you though? Bo. No bow parts in there, but all right, fair Peace enough. Peace be with you. Mate. Peace be with you too. I'm going to quickly pick into your gun safe just next door. See if you've got anything I can sell for like 500 bucks. I don't know now. You guys have made me doubt myself. I was so sure it scraps in the iron. But I've been wrong before. I'm wrong a lot. Was I wrong? Uh-oh. <laughs> Every word I say, and I say a lot of words, my uh, confidence in myself drops that little bit more. Give me the zeros, please. No, come on. There's the zeros. Thank you, Bobby boy. What have you got in your... Ooh, okay. Well, I can... Oh, I'd like, I like a rocket launcher, though. 
I don't need you at all. I can sell you. I have a couple of those back at home, actually, that might be worth selling. Nothing else really fun. All right. No wackers, knackers. I cannot reach your bookshelf. It's one too many pixels away. Nothing else to raid through him. I'm going to raid your little home over and see if I can find anything to sell in there. But otherwise, it's back to Jen to get a job, to do a job, to get some more money. Ooh, cheeky coffee. Don't mind if I do. Coffees and frothies. It's the way to be. There was nothing. There was nothing at all. Get out, you big old slippery serpent. Please come over here. My Gucci's getting swampy, but so is me noodle. All right. I think we're good. I left my bike set up on my bike. That looks good to me. Uh, in that case, then... Yeah, I think the best call is to head back up to Jen because she's going to give me a tier 2 quest, which is worth more. I'll also have a quick squeeze through her inventory while I've got the sugar butts going in case uh, she's restocked as well, but I'm pretty sure she restocked yesterday. So we'll see if she's got any acid for me. Oh, no. Bam's... Get well, you're not really Bambi, are you? You're a big, stagalicious bundle of meats. All right, never mind then. I'll let you live because the meat's all seized up now. It's panicked and nowhere near as juicy. I'll go back, see Jen, find some acid, or at least get a job. Now I want to buy that crossbow. Now I want to buy that crossbow just to see. I need to I need to placate myself and either prove myself wrong and hang my head in shame and feel sheepish like I'm a genie or be right and be vindicated. Oh, not going to say no to that one though. Cheeky god bag up against the barbed wire. Someone's been punctured. Another couple iron arrows. I'll just drink you straight away. Empty glass jars are very valuable to me. Even with the forge, finding extras is always a good thing. Let's carry on. Ooh, oh, there's a pup in a cage and a bit of a work site, and more importantly, a tree stump. Please give me one honey. My infection has disappeared from the hug, but I promise you it's still there. 3% left my antibiotic medicine. Once that runs up, I'll get infected again. Ooh, do I get... Do I get kind of bold and ambitious with this? You're stuck in a pen, so I'm fine just to go like that. Just get you out of my worries. Grab you. Anything good? Some concrete. Thank you very much. Also, break it down for all your forged iron and take all the concrete with me. Leave nothing good behind. Hey there, Jenny girl. What do you have? An acid or three? I mean, last time I was saying to her, she actually gave me something pretty decent. So maybe it's worth this time. Serenade Trader Jen and see what happens. Uh, first things first, check your inventory. Quick little squeeze through. Oh, a cigar that I can afford. I'm currently wearing a bandana. Which is good for like being a desert, not overheating, but a cigar gives me extra strength. It's a free skill point plus better bartering. So I think, yeah, I've already been here before and sold your stuff because that's where that would have come from. Or right, in that case, then I will actually take, while it's cheaper, I will take that cigar. You've got a flat out compu cross, but it's so expensive and definitely not worthwhile. I kind of want you. Maybe that's what we should focus on instead. Ooh, don't know. Don't know. Quick check. Bow, can't be crossbow, no thank you. Bow, no bow parts. All right, that's all fair game. Thank you, Jen. Thanks for letting me take care of you. Oh, I would, any time, you, you just say the word and I'll run clear across the desert to come and say g'day. I will take it that one. We're always looking Up at the this cemetery, always a good work. place to go in a zombie oh, apocalypse. What could possibly go wrong? Quickly put that SMG knowledge into my face and put the cigar into my face as well, where you, Bandana, can just hang out in here for a bit. Does give me a good bit of heat resistance, but the strength on the cigar is definitely more worthwhile. Right, okay. I've got no sellables and no money. We need to... <laughs> why can't I have some sellables and three money? Uh, we need to go and make amends of that one and get some more stuff in my pockets. I'm a little bit peckish. Let's put you in nice and early. Got health bars. Got lots of sugar butts. That's all fine. Okay. Yeah, now nah, we're good to rock and roll. Down we go. Back on the bike. Out to the cemetery. So hopefully not have my face rearranged quite as uh, vigorously as before. It's just... Oh, it's a vanilla pill. I wish is weirdly reassuring. Wouldn't think it would be, but... Oh, it's just a place filled with zombies that I've been to before. As opposed to some unknowing death trap that might kill me the instant I walk through the front gate. As some compo pack people wise I want to be. But to tell you what, though, even though I lived in this place, I think it was was it Silent Hill that I lived in this POI way back when? It's been a hot minute, or even a lukewarm minute, really, since I was last here. So I don't really remember it all too well. G'day, bud. Just get you swinging. Oh, my God, your knees. I heard the shatter from him. Whatever patellas you used to have are about now 7,000 pieces. Don't ask me how I know so much about breaking legs. I will not tell you. All right, where's everyone else? 
Where's everyone else? Everyone has to die. This has the mausoleum down below. Let's follow me. Nancy, go long. What a shot that was. Oh, we got a skill point out of it as well. And in fact, now that I have the opportunity for SMGs, now will be the time. Let's start putting points in the gunslinger. Let's start getting good. Quickly have a little squeeze on. The oh my goodness. On the inside, that's like the first cop I've seen, but it's only a regular one. So still dies with a good shot through the melon. But specking into archery is such a good thing. Need to put some points into uh, stealth damage as well, because it just exponentially increases how much damage you can do on the trot. So my arrow back out of you. Arrow back out of you. Yeah, I lived in here. This was my house. So long ago, it ended so badly, but the memories still live very fresh in my mind. I can see the shadow of a pelican out there, but I'm a shadow of the man I once was as well. Now, I don't normally dig up all the, uh, all the coffins through here, but... I mean, I'm kind of desperate for loot. There's a chance this will give me ammo, and I'm pretty sure under this one, if memory does serve, I might quickly grab some uh, mods. I'll modify you, take you and you, and try and dig up what I can as quickly as I can. I think under this one, there was a ammunition box. Oh, look at that. Okay. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Okay, due to the old soggy noodle, does retain some information. Lovely. You've been popped. That's where the zombies came from. Yeah, I think this is the right call. Dig up the coffins, see what they're buried with. Maybe there's some more ammo about. My infection has come back. It's 0.5%. The medicine I had must have worn off, and now it's back again. Like a very clingy ex-girlfriend. Anything in you? Old trash. Just some iron. That's fine. We're having like all the perks in my shovel and being pretty decent makes this relatively light work. Nothing down there. Nothing down there. Jeez, not many. For a cemetery, there's not a lot of buried people. It's been very slim pickings, but all the graves have been <laughs> ransacked for anything that was worthwhile. Just uh, defiling graves in the middle of the day. You know, just a normal lunchtime activity for normal human beings. It's fine. Nothing in you. I'm getting a little bit sizzly though. I took off my bandana and I'm paying the price. Gotta keep an eye on my infection. If it gets up above 15% or around 15%, I'm gonna take that 25% stamina degradation. So gotta make sure I'm on top of that. Didn't bring any antibiotics with me. So gotta hustle just that little bit. I was gonna say anyone in there. There is one. Shit, missed the shot. Hang on, spider boy. Oh, I said, hang on, spider boy. You can't just push in line like that. I'm trying to deal with lots of you all at one time. Oh, I can't fight you on the stairs because your noggin just drips through it. Missed it. Gotcha. Oh, thank goodness. All right. Not a particularly auspicious start to the underground catacombs, and I'm puckering ever so slightly. That's fine, though. Just pretend like you're confident, Josh, and keep pushing on. Don't let your inner anxiety come out and scream. Oh, uh-oh. Oh, that's a real big problem. That's a real big problem. If I get hit with the gauze, I assume, like... Uh-oh, hang on. I assume the gauze of... Fuck my stamina. Stamina. Oh. <laughs> I assume the gauze out of you is bad. Like, if I was getting hit with ferals, it was going up by 5%. The gauze out of you can only be as bad, if not worse than that. So I do not want to test that. I want to keep myself as undrenched with pre-digested kebab as I possibly can. Man, running out of stamina sucks. I don't have the stamina running knives against big boys like that. Thank God I had the shotgun. I panicked double taps, but that's fine. Waste a little bit of ammo to make short work of them. One in there too. Wasted the arrow. We're fine. Oh, okay. I need to like... I need to relax a little bit. That little running with the cop has got me all frazzled. I can't see any glowing eyes. So just like one there. And it was a bit of a tougher pill, but... Got it made. No worries. The upper left of the primitive bow is definitely true. Take you back, please. Thank you. One over there as well. Just opening up doors all over the bloody gaff. Someone's outside getting a real rowdy, but I'll deal with them in just a moment. Ooh. Some tier six thighs. I already got tier six thighs, but... I mean, I, mm, I'll repair you now, actually. How much are you worth? Owning $132 redos. The irons I'm wearing will be worth more, but... Oh, actually, they're all... They're going to weigh me down, aren't they? Hold on a second. So you've got a pocket in you. I can't put you into my uh, into my clothies. Hang on. You go in like that. I can't chuck you in. Can I go into my helmet then? Potentially. Yeah, chuck you into there and put the other pocket into me gloves like that. Okay, good. That means you can I get sold for more money. And 
I mean, it will mean that I'm more quicker, but I'm expecting with agility. This is probably the right call. I was going to play about how slow I was. Getting rid of the heavy armor is a good way to stop that. Just pop you nice and early. Oh, I, I mean, I didn't mean it literally, but okay. I'm not going to complain about that. Laza in the corner. Oh, like that. Good pill. Just want to try and make sure if there are any ferals or anything down here, I can see him and kill him early. Try again. I clipped the pill up. There we go. A little bit better. And one last little room. Over that side. You're just a regular Nance. Gone. Job done. All right. Lovely. Let's take my arrows back. Need to grab the supplies before I leave, which I've left upstairs somewhere. I'm so bad at that. I forget them every time. I did forget to put my ergonomic grip mod and my shovel mod. Any mod will do. Back into my hunting knife. That might be why I ran out of stamina against the copper rooney. Savage Country Box with nothing in ya. Medical Pile with nothing in ya. Weapons Bag with... Ooh, something in ya. Very interesting, actually. Okay, that's not too bad. It's worth a couple hundred dollar reduce. And more importantly, I can repair you and get you even better again. Anything in the leather trunk. Just some leather thighs. Although you're still light armor. Your crit resistance, so like infection and stuff is high, but your actual protection is lower and you have less mod slots. I don't think that's worthwhile. I don't think that's worthwhile going for the cheeky change. Never mind then what's in the medical box. Please give me honey. I'd love some honey. Or just nothing instead, as is always the way. Like, loot's at 50%, but jeez, it feels a lot less than that. Go to the desk safe on the first cracker What do you got? More dollar reduce and some more ammo. Thank you. I'm building up my supplies in 9 mil because I'll be spitting them out very quickly once the SMG comes to play. I'm going to go up and over this way. I'm not going to tend fate with the with the spikes. Don't want to lose all of my blood by getting pierced in the groin. Up we go. So where? Oh, where is my hairbrush? But also, where is the supplies? Maybe this is the trader's hairbrush. That's why they've sent me. Trader's outside. Are you up? Just there. Courier satchel. Thank you. Nice. Job done. Let's get out of here. Let's go back to Jenna and get a pat on the back. And hopefully some other rewards as well. Jenna girl, I'm back again. This time I'll Hello, try and... Hello, okay, Jenny girl. This time I'll try and resist the temptation to well serenade you with my golden throats. Shouldn't even say those words together around you, Jen. What have you got for me? Iron Sledgehammer. $264 reduce. You are worth so much more. Absolutely. I will take that. See inventory, please. I will sell you. But, oh, I won't actually. You gave me some dollar redos, and that's fine. There's nothing really I had to buy from Jen, I don't think. Most of this stuff is all fine. Everything's all good. So it was Bobby Boy. Oh, but you got that. I can afford you right now. But with Sugar Butts, it'll be better. Okay, really? change of plan. Well, okay then. I thought you were going to be mad at me for a second. I was like stitching up my bed in the doghouse. Clear zombies, fetch. Um, now, something that actually I never knew. Apparently, according to the comments, apparently different kinds of quests give you different kinds of rewards. So like doing a fetch quest will give you like food. Doing a clear will give you medicine or something like that. I don't know what the actual rewards are, but apparently that's the thing. And I very rarely do yeah. fetch quests. Uh, yeah. Fantastic. So I reckon I that might be a pretty decent shout. It's back up neck door to the cemetery again, right where I'm going. So if I head back home, repair the things I want to sell, grab that on the way through, and then come back down again, grab myself the sugar butts as well, I can pass on through, I can grab the motorcycle schematic out of you, and then head on back down to Bobby Boy to buy the bow. That might work. That might work. That might be a pretty decent shout. We're finally starting to get some dollar redos under our belts, and it's changing everything. Our prospects looking better and better every minute. Quickly chuck on some extra concrete while I'm here with the various things I found in my adventures. Chuck you away. Right, so I need three repair kits. Got one in there. Do I have any more? I don't think so. Let's just go repair kit then. That's quite a lot, but actually not a bad shout. Do I need duct tape for anything else? How about we just go a bit more restrained then? I'll make five. That'll be good. I can put you away. Although you're kind of doing nothing for me, you might be sellable. I'll take you. Uh, shotgun parts, I'll sell you. Steel club parts, I'm not speaking into it, so I'll sell you too. Robotics parts, I'll need you for DD, so I won't sell that. Steel tool parts, I need those as well. Murder tool parts, might need those. Need those. Machine gun parts. I mean, I need, I need most of these, actually, to be honest with you. But is there any mods I can chuck into my armor to make it more valuable? 
No, because if I had any mods for that, I would have already used it in my armor. All right, fair whackers then. You can get sold. You can get sold. Repair you. Repair you. Okay, we're looking kind of okay. We might be able to make the dosh we need and go and get ourselves some motorcycle handlebars and some bow parts or iron, whichever way that's going to go. Oh, my God. Oh, um, bike, bike, come in. Come here. Let's just go and hide around the side and try not to pick a fight with all of that. Oh, there's coppers. There's everything. There's demon dogs as well. Oh, jeez, Louise. That is not what I want to go and pick a fight with at all. You can have all of that. Store you into them. The perfect size. Mm, let's go this way. Let's go this way. We'll try and make our way around the back of them. Oh, God, those giant hordes are so freaking scary. Zombies are terrifying with this. A couple of hits and my stamina goes. When my stamina goes, I will sh I'll be following shortly after. Zombies are scary. It's, <laughs> it's changed the game so much. I've gone the wrong way as well. I got so puckered up and so fraidy catted by that big wandering horde that I forgot that I'm actually supposed to be going and doing a job for Jen. Which even more annoyingly is where that, where that horde is heading. Are you shitting me? How, how is this game conscious? How, is, how does it have critical thinking like that? How does it sense a, a giant wandering horde to the exact building that I need to raid? That is a genuine P155 take all over me gob, like the most golden of showers. Oh, jeez. See, I said golden throats in the uh, vicinity of Jen, and the game was like, uh-uh, you can't be saying that kind of nonsense. not happening. Oh, God. What do I do about that? There's a whole horde just waiting for me down there now, and I need to raid this place. Shit. That is not good. That is really not good, and I don't really have a plan to get around it. So some of them stopped, and others are just keeping on going. Oh, landmine shots. Please don't kick any of those, or else it'll be... <laughs> Suddenly, the horde will not be your problem anymore. Oh, they're all stopping at different locations. My biggest concern is the dog. The dog is fast and infection rates are ridiculous. My other concern is that cop vomit will set fire to things and that's never a good plan. If I can stealth it through this place, then that won't be too much of a problem, but I don't know. If things get wild and I have to pop out the shotgun and blow something away, then, well, lots more problems are coming my way. Tier two fetch, I'm in the hole now. I'm in the trenches, no turning back. Gonna get through here, get the gubs and leave, and hopefully do it nice and quietly. Doggo. Ooh, no doggo waiting. That makes me nervous. Why isn't the doggo there? Where is he hiding if not there? Please be, please be somewhere. Oh! oh. I was gonna say, please be somewhere I can shoot you quietly, because if you charge me, the knife's not gonna cut it, and whipping out the AK and calling in the horde immediately, death sentence. So I'm really playing with all sorts of fire here. And not just in the Molotov sense, in every other sense too. Okay, up we go. Try and think, Josh. Where's everyone going to be? How's it all laid out? Can I get you out of the way, please? Shit. No. 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 Go quietly. I've got an abrasion, but I didn't get my infection up into my stamina degen part. So, okay. Shit. <laughs> bad idea dude this is such a bad idea why do i think that this would be a good one? Oh, it was the wrong button that's not my bow anymore i fired a gun oh i was bad okay well i've severely caused myself many many problems i need to have my wits about me i need to get the stuff and just leave i can come and get the loot another time oh god where's the pig where's the pig all right well if it's gonna be that way anyway may as well just try and protect myself a little bit but they weren't coming before they're definitely coming now where's the gubs i gotta go all i can hear are zombies outside there's the cat the satchel not the catchall just behind that uh i need to leave i need to leave I can't really go that way oh they're all coming through the walls they're coming through the freaking walls like it's the red goo Open you. Come on, faster, 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 faster. I know looting isn't a great decision, but I need to do it while I'm here. Anything in you? Empty glass jar. Oh, there's dogs out there too. Okay, enough of that. Enough of that. Quickly just 
Oh, that's a big die wolf as well. Put you down if I can. It was right through the chops and you're still coming. Another one through the chops, still going. Third one through the chops, still going. All right, sod it. How are you still up? Oh my God, they're so tough. Even with the advantage, I still couldn't put you down. Go faster, Josh. Oh, go faster. Put down you. Grab the bacon and leave while someone kicks some more. Because there's so many out there. It's almost guaranteed. Just rush. Fuck. Just rush and open. Thank God. They've made it inside. A little faster, please. Uh, shotgun, reload you. Mm, who's waiting for me? No one there. Harvest you. Oh, someone there. That's a feral. That's a feral. That's a feral. AK is out for the feral, so I cannot risk it anymore. No one coming up behind. All right, grab the ammo. Faster, please, dickhead. Oh, yep. Okay. What have we got? What have we got? Pop and pills box. I definitely need you. They're coming through the walls. Go fast up. Oh, my God. It's so loud down here. Nothing. Leather trunk. Almost nothing. Oh, it could be a DD. Do it for DD, Josh. It's worth the risk. No, just a headlight. Okay, we're up. Oh, yeah, everyone's coming. Everyone's coming. Where is my bike? Bike's just there. Just get on it and go. Get on it and go. Jenny girl, I'm coming back to you. Um, oh, I've, re I've ridden straight into a POI though. Can I get out this way? Yes, I can. Oh, my heart rate is about 8,000 right now. Oh, that was awful. I can't believe I shot that AK, dude. Why was I trying to rush so much? I got myself in a ladder. I gathered my ladder and was panicking pretty severely. I was trying to pull out the bow to pop open that cabinet to see if anything behind it and just shot it with a bullet. I was so scared. <laughs> the thing you fear most is what comes for you. I was so scared of having to fire a gun. I panicked and shot a gun. Silly. Bloody doubly silly. I'm also really thirsty and really hungry. Oh, Jen. I hope that was everything you wanted it to be because it was awful for me. Iron pickaxe. Same what I got now, but it's not as worthy as, or not as worthwhile as my leather gloves. So I'll take that. Thank you. Gonna get the stuff out of my bike and sell it to you. Um, I think I have just enough time to make it to Bobby Boy, but it's a bit of an ask. Although, in that case, Bob's gonna have or the ability to buy that stuff off me anyway. Oh, but you've got, you've got motorcycle handlebars. Okay, hang on, hang on. Uh, you pop that in. Let's get inside nice and fast. Sell the stuff, buy the handlebars, and go see Bob. I still think we can make it. Really trying to fit everything I can into this day. You, please buy that, buy that, buy that. You, 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 and then definitely you, definitely that one, definitely that one. I've got five and a half thousand dollar redos. You can take that off me as well. Nice. Okay, you. Motorcycle handlebars, definitely buy that one. Anything else I needed. I'm not going to buy the books as much as I'd really like to. Handgun parts. Yeah, okay. I think I can afford that. If I'm, I'm short a couple hundred bucks when I get to Bob's, I'll be spitting, but that's fine. Quick double check. No, nothing. Okay, I think we're fine. Well, you just brightened my day. You brightened mine too, Jen, but you're also almost dark. I almost died doing jobs for you. I'm doing favors for Jen. Just having a death wish. Let's go see Bob and get back home and have a light out. Today's been exhausting. I've made it to Bobby's. My, my infection's getting very high. If I'm thirsty and yellow infected, Your that can be really bad for me. Here. But speaking of things that are good for me, do you have the flat out chassis? Oh, which I could buy. That could be the path to the motorcycle. They have the handlebar schematic and you've got 24 grand. I was going to be more than that. I'm about to spend some money. But I need $7,200 redos to buy the chassis. Gotcha. And I've got like one more day to do it. But what was the thing I actually came here to buy? I've already kind of forgotten. Uh, no, I have forgotten. What was it? Oh, the crossbow. That's right. $2,300 redos. Which either means I'm going to waste $2,300 by buying something that's just going to give me iron and a waste, a waste of all my money. Or chat's going to be right and that's going to give me bow parts, which would be annoying because I've wasted bow parts before. But I don't know. Basically, I'm gambling all of my money on you because you said that that was the case. And I believe you more than I believe me. So buy you. Peace be with Moment you, of truth. Friend. Do you scrap to bow parts? Shit! Okay, well, lesson learned. I'm sure we'll soon be forgotten. Iron crossbows do scrap the bow parts now. No longer iron. I, I definitely used to be a thing. I'm not sure when it changed, but I have egg on my face. My egg and... Uh, sorry, my face and egg were in alignment, as Moss would say. Damn it. Right. All right. Well, 
My bad. <laughs> Just put that into the column of me being a Muppet, which is getting heckin' long at this point. So that's the play then. I need $7,200 redos. Like I need acid as well, but there's no acid anywhere. So I need to keep looting places and raiding places. Hope I can come and find some, but while I'm looking for acid, which is kind of like the overarching need for everything, while I'm looking for that, I'll try and get that motorcycle chassis. Because I've got wheels at home, I've got engines, I think I have a battery somewhere. If not, I'll go on like a, um, a salvage spree. Might have to go buy the candy for it and just break down all the cars I can find till I come across a cheeky baddie. And then I get a motorcycle. I can finally put this bike away. I live in the desert, so oil shale shouldn't be too bad. And at some point, I'll get the chem station too. Yeah, definitely need the motorcycle. That's now pretty high up on the list of things I need. Pull up out the front. Lovely. Anything in you that I've forgotten? No, we're all good and gravy. Nice. Let's get inside and drop everything off because the sun is definitely about to set. And I don't like that somehow the zombies found me last time. That makes me worry quite a lot. Although, did he know I was there? Or did he just kind of like aimlessly and happily walk into the building and just happened to die there when the morning came up? Because that dead zombie did have the glowy eyes. He was a feral. So maybe, maybe. Quickly read you. Chuck you away into there. Bow parts looking lovely. 11. And what do I need for the compi? Compi crossbow. I needed 15. So not even close to that. Could make an iron, but after selling and scrapping iron crossbows, I may as well just commit to getting myself the compu at this point. Four more out of you. There is the nighttime noise. Chuck you guys away. Chuck you guys away. And you can have those as well. All right. Good. I'm very thirsty. I am infected. I'm not going to pop my, um, my antibiotics now. I'll let it run up overnight to try and make maximum use of my antibiotics. It cures 25, which is way more than I need. I don't need my stamina region while I'm cozy up at home. So I can leave that there for a little bit. Put a couple of you in. Put a couple of you in. And just be thankful that we're still alive for yet another day. So that was pretty dicey. I did not enjoy it. I'm a little off the next level up. But now that I've got the stuff for the motorcycle, I can probably start... Really, I'm going to ignore Grease Monkey then. Grease Monkey is great if I can't find a schematic for anything. If I have to craft myself from scratch, sure, Grease Monkey is the way to go. But even to get some motorcycles was three skill points, which I just don't really want to have to do. Three skill points and level six intellect. So that's a bit of a stitch up. But instead, I reckon putting some points into Daring Adventure is going to be the way to go. Yeah, I think so. So you give me more Jukes and I'm desperate for money all the time, plus more quest rewards. And Derek Adventure is actually really OP. It's just hidden behind Insulet, which I need for Physician to make myself the antibiotics anyway. So, okay. Derek Adventure, that's where my points are going to go. But before I forget as well, because I have a tendency to do that, Motorcycle Chassis, going to pin you so I know that that's what I'm going to go and get from Bobby Boy. I'd love to have like a sticky note mod. I've talked about this before. Like some way I can put like a little note like this in the corner and be like, Oi, dickhead, go and get the motorcycle chassis from Trader Bob. But this will have to do for now. Hopefully that's enough of a thing to jog my memory. It's coming out to midnight. I'm still a little bit thirsty. So a little bit of extra fluids and a little bit of extra steak. Not too bad at all. Whack a bit of you in and get some more yucca on the crack. 21 of. I've got almost enough fuel for that. There you go. Yes, please. Nice. Yucca juice is really just everything. Like, if you're out in the desert, having that, it gives you so much better hydration than regular water. It's kind of OP, to be honest with you. Yucca juice is OP. Although, now I regret saying that out loud, because please don't nerf it. So, what's the plan for tomorrow, then? i have got to go back to Jen. I might actually go to Jen and Trader Rect over here and see if I can get two tier two quests and see which one's better for me try and get my level up get a, a bit into Derek adventure go and buy that motorcycle chassis so i can take on the wasteland just that little bit better yeah there's a lot going on there's a lot going on i have to keep track of and unfortunately i can barely keep track of what i had for breakfast this morning so it doesn't really uh, look too great for me i am infected but i'll grab you and leave you just here until i'm ready to pop you in in the morning but i'll have to leave this episode here and come back and continue to fight the infection in another episode because this episode is done so thank you guys for watching most of all thank you to the patrons of patreon who made this episode possible if you like to make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel follow me on twitter if i don't talk to you there first i'll see you in the next episode have a good one